Alright. This is uh, Firewatch, which is a uh, well anticipated indie game which has launched uh, about 20 minutes ago, in fact. And there is a native Linux version from day one. Uh, it's Unity, so that's not a particularly uh, shocking thing, but it's still nice to see. Uh, I actually pre-ordered at the weekend when I was buying a bunch of other stuff. So it's a story-based game. It's set in Wyoming in 1989, following the uh, major fires at Yellowstone Ma National Park. Oh, we're starting in 1975 though, evidently. Are we getting born? I'm not sure. You see, Julia. Some erratic mouse pointer action. Now, there was an issue. Immediately, I couldn't start the game. Um, I ran Steam from the gun line and discovered that it was looking for Firewatch executable with a lowercase f and the one in the package has it has an uppercase f. Alright, I have to click on it. There we go. Let's tell her she's pretty. There we go. We hit it off with Julia. That was an easy introduction. Let's pick up the backpack. So I'm guessing uh, you're escaping to the Wyoming wilderness uh, because something happened to Julia. I don't know all the details of the plot. With the story games, you almost want to uh, wait, and, you know, not spoil it for yourself. So I've not really looked at any reviews or anything. I can tell you, performance seems to be fine. Um, I have a mid-range load gear. That didn't take a lot of effort. A fairly mid-range system. Let's get a beagle bucket. What do you think about kids? Let's, let's go all in. We're getting married to Julia. I see. So, I uh, can't get my gear out the back of the car again. Do not forget to check in. The map. So you've taken a job in a far lookout tower uh, in Yellowstone following the fires, which was a fairly major event. It was a drought coupled with the, at the time, perhaps. What should we do? Passive aggressive, that's me. So perhaps nothing happens to Julia. Ooh. 
Shall I throw it or shall I pose? Pose and flex like he man. I'm sure I did. Yes, yeah, so there was a big fire. There was a, a. It was at the start of this, the policy of letting forest fires happen. And uh, right before they tried to put them out as quickly as possible, it's been determined since then. Eight more miles to two forts lookout. Excellent. There we go. This is a tutorial, I'm sure. Pretty sunset. Scare them away. We walk a different path. Ah, why do you absolutely not want to move? Okay, doesn't sound like a good approach. She's having some mental issues. Oh, yeah, the onset dementia. Well, that's sad. So something does happen to her. Let's pick up the journal. Yes, the forest wires are controversial. Oh, there you go. He-Man. Very nice. The forest wires are controversial because of that new policy. Uh, there was a lot of bad press. It's the largest fire that ever happened, I think, in the National Park. She's sent her and her magazine to leave, right. So Julia's going downhill fast. I'm determined. No, I'm not giving up on Julia. So clearly this is the intro. We're not spoiling too much by telling you uh, I thought it was space to climb over obstacles. I'm not I'm not allowed to climb over that obstacle, evidently. So let's talk more about the game. Um it's been a bit of a buzz around it. It's you know it's a small studio, but they're industry veterans, and there's you know a distinctive art style as you often get. I quite like it. It's um, I've seen screenshots, I've seen videos. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe I was supposed to climb over that log. Oh, there's a path up here. I see. Let's go up this way then. It's not an action game by any stretch of the imagination. It's an explorative, story-based game. Uh, there's the usual controversy over, uh, over you know, how much is a game worth. There's a deal. Look. Uh, the game's depending on. Um, you believe it's between three and six hours long. Uh, 
Oh, we've got a trust up. Something bad's going to happen either way, isn't it? Jury is getting taken away. You apply for the summer job. Which is on this lookout. Okay. So there's the backstory. We're loading something. I think we may have found the lookout tower at last. Surfer lookout. Right. I thought that that's where the thing opens up. Well, there you go. So, yeah, I like the art style. It's a. Uh, it reminds me of. Um, of uh, what's that other survival game? I was, well, this isn't a survival game. The Long Dark I was thinking of. It's a slightly cartoony, but basically a fairly stark and plain art style, which I think suits these sort of um, suits these wilderness games quite well. So there is a plot. We're not going to try and get into it too much. We're uh, we're just observing the game. Open the door. Turn on the power. Observing the game working on Linux. The power is on. And a lot of the game radio is Hold left shift. Release left shift to talk, okay. Whatever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Reply, okay. You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mum. Nobody back Can home from standing. Out on this? Ugh, fine. But I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Oh, so we've run out of time. See, I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, the folks out here simply got dumped. Oh, that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. So there's a story and then to your radio only relationship with this woman which clearly you have to get your crap together and respond very quickly are fairly quiet. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You used Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Uh, language, maybe. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? 
Well, it's the west. Oh, there's the west. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. So, your relationship with uh So I'll pick that up. What do I pick up? Door, okay. So the targeting seems to be a bit weird. Thermos pickup. Toolbox. Glory pickup. Yeah, I'll put it back in the middle of all that. Space puffs, okay. Water jug. National Forest Guidebook. Cookbook. Supplies. I'm doing it with them. So I guess I'm just leaving. Oh, and automatically pick up the thing. Well, there you go. So where was I going? West. Right. How do I get out? That's the next question. I'm confused. Oh, you get down the stairs there. In fact, I walk completely the wrong way. So yeah, there's going to be a story. We've not got to the story yet, clearly. We're, we're only just starting it. You're escaping from your failing marriage. Alright, what was that? Something highlighted. M to read map. So I want to go west. Trying to late, that was what she said. Yes, so the voice the voice is a bit quiet. We've got the uh, typical head bob thing, which I think will probably make me sick, and I'll see if I can turn it off. Let's lower the map and just check the options. Settings. Ah, oh, so everything comes at 75. So let's put that toggle head bob. There we go. So at least you can turn it off. That's better. Less nausea all around. Now it is uh, fairly, you know, I mean it's a spectacular place in real life if you're into nature. I was reading a uh, Eurogamer article about this uh, just before it all it all downloaded. And apparently, if you uh, you can get a disposable camera in game, this is 1989, remember? No, no digital cameras, and you can take snapshots of uh, beautiful scenery as you go through. And at the end of the game, you can pay, uh, I think. Ten pounds or fifteen dollars. How do I open it then? Ah, oh, there we go. One, two, three, four. Let's take the note. Let's get fucked when I'm back. Okay. Oh. Right. Okay. Map. Copy information. Cool. 
Interesting. Take the old rope. Take the granola bar. Let's eat it. Close the supply flash. Do you have to put the lock back on? No. Not that sort of game. Right. So we're still heading west? Yes. So. To me the performance seems fine. It is uh, doing something. It's because my fan is churning like nobody's business. Hard to talk of jogging. Okay. Right, every time you start. I'm possibly not going the right way. I can hear fireworks and stuff, right? Yeah, my, my, my fan is going, you can probably hear it. It might even be louder than... Uh, yeah, what's that? It's a different log. It might even be louder than the, uh, the talking. For me. But to be fair, I was playing right hook. Shower slide to right. Right, so how do I... How do I get into inventory? Where's my right? Ah, you get it. Do it by getting on the correct side of it. Yep. There's the fireworks going on. Yeah, so like I said, you can get you can get uh, the the beautiful pictures you take sent to you as actual pictures. Good one. Uh, shift. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. I think I'll make it. Be careful for Christ's sake. Well, thank you for that. Am I still heading west? Yes, I am. Oops. Shift for radio. R for run. Makes sense, really. Examine. Okay. That would work pretty well if I had a rope. I'm still heading west. Yeah, so. This is Firewatch. From what I've heard this large amount of walking around the wilderness is fairly typical for the game so if you're not into games where you spend time taking in the scenery it's almost certainly not a game for you uh, I'm quite interested to see see how it all goes I am quite interested Two pairs of clothes. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. Just found where they're hanging out. So clearly we're on the right track. Excellent. Just keeping that. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Excellent advice. Uh, 
panties. Comedy. Ah <laughs> oh dear. Another bra. Another pair of panties. There's a. Yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your <laughs> job. Okay. Excellent. So, uh, there they are, obviously. I will leave it there. And so, uh, you can buy the game yourself if you want to enjoy to uh, stylize naked ladies cavorting around in a swamp. This is Firewatch, uh, released today native Linux version available remember to uh, check the install directory and change the case of the uh, the executable if you actually want to play it right now uh, I'm assuming they'll fix that later uh, yeah Firewatch available today